So adding simple animations to SVG files is not that complicated. Here you can see I have Adobe Illustrator opened and something very important you need to know is you need to make sure the layers are co correctly named. They are gonna be grouped in that SVG files and you're gonna see that in a second. So if you're doing this, make sure it's that or if you're paying a graphic designer, make sure you let them know that the layers files need to be named. I'm gonna close this right now and when you open the SVG file in your text editor, you can see all this code, right? Um, there's even some CSS and you can see this G tag with an ID. That's the name of the actual layer. And it's gonna be group all the little squares are grouped in that group. And then um, you can see here the other one and then the other one. Now, cool thing is that because this is like this, it's very easy for me to add some CSS and animate all this. So I can scroll up right now and add the animations to this style section. So if I go here and put some animations here, for example, I'm just gonna copy and paste these animations and you can see I call them red lights and yellow lights. So I can go ahead here and to this um, CLS6, which I am not mistaken, this is the red lights. Yep, here you can see, I can go do this at animation and same thing with the CLS7 is just the name change a little bit red lights and I'm gonna save that let's refresh the page and here we go we have very simple animation and as you can see in my HTML file the image tag with the SVG file right there just like a regular image and is responsive just like a normal image you have all the animations inside this SVG file inside the CSS.